And then here's, you know, this is kind of a large example, but a nice edge detail. If you're uh, into innovative building design, here's just a, you know, kind of grasses, um, uh, eco roof mixture pulled right up to a nice concrete edge. And uh, no, yeah, right, no gravel edge. There's actually this. It looks, I didn't notice that before. That looks like a little drain for this concrete edging here. So it's probably backsloped a little bit. Um, and then, Tom, do you want to tell them about when you were there uh, and weren't they bagging it and tossing it? Yeah, this is in, uh, in the San Francisco area, the, and this was constructed in 1997. It's a William McDonough uh, building, the architects, if you know William, the architect. Uh, so while I was there taking these photographs, uh, the maintenance crew was on top of the building, and they were, this has been designed to use the native flora and, uh, it's there, uh, uh, and uh, so it's almost all native there. You can see, well, you can't quite see, but there is clover there, common clover. Right I don't here. know if common clover is native or not, but anyway, it's got a lot of clover in it. But they were maintaining it, and uh, they were removing quite a bit of material, and their maintenance practice, <laughs> I don't know if they still do it, but uh, they had these giant sheets, and they would put all this stuff in it. They would uh, it Like a tarp. Of, like a tarp, yeah. put put it together, tie it, and then two guys would actually heave hoe it off the roof. <laughs> and this, and is, I, this looked like ten feet. This is no, this there, is right? like 25, 30 feet up. Yeah. Or like it's, it's, it, I don't know, three or four stories high. Yeah. And uh, and I was there. I forgot what day that was. August seventh, two thousand one. Yeah. I don't know if it was a Sunday or a Saturday, but I don't think it was a regular. No, it wasn't a regular work day because the office building just had just a few people in it. And uh, they did let me in, and I could see from the inside, and then the outside I watched from the outside grounds. I wasn't up on the roof itself. But it's eight inches of soil, and this is sort of one of the first sort of eco roofs that is relative to a building that's more conventional in terms of having, you know, four walls straight up and down and then having a, having a roof like a vegetated roof. So this was just the year after I did my garage, so. But I'm sure it was planned probably in 95. I was going to say, so they, they beat me. They might have, they might have had looked, seen a garage somewhere. Um, so we talked about uh, the edging. You know, again, here's another good example. Sedum really, we notice up here on this building, it does like this gravel, no soil area. And it just migrates over there. This is some Della Sperma that's just taking over that plastic edging. So you get any question, well, it might look good or might be purposeful in the design, but over time, uh, you may not even see it anymore. Um, and then this is uh, just details, you know, uh, that's a screw pop loose here, and then it's creating, possibly creating that stain down the edge of that building there, because that, that screw popped loose right at that point there. So just, you know, details and, and um, the construction of the roof is important as well. And then here's just a stainless steel edging with some freeze thaw, and over time, it's separating at that point where you're um, butting those two edges together. And, you know, somebody's got to kind of pull it out. You know how that is. It's not easy just to grab it and stick it back together again. You've got to kind of pull it out and redo it a little bit and get that whole thing back together again. 